Man, I never wanted to be nothing but a cowboy. I just always loved the horse. Most of my lessons in life were taught by horses. Most of the time in this America, the cowboy doesn't look like me. But when you come to this rodeo, as you can see, it's a lot of cowboys that look like me. Be a cowboy, it's not like a day job. It's not something you can put on. It's, it's either you are or you ain't. I've been riding horses since I was four years old. And I've been competing with the Bill Pickett since I was eight. My grandpa bought me a pony. They just put me on a horse like before I could walk. You black and you ride horses? I'm like, yeah, like I ride horses. And I like that about the Bill Pickett because it really shows how it is the black culture. All the steer wrestling, bull riding, that came from everybody that was on the ranch, especially the black people that was on the ranch doing that stuff. A horse can feel like a fly on them, like they can feel a person's emotions. With rodeo culture, they're big on respecting the horse and people. I take that out a lot to like every day, I use it every day. Hi, my name's Kai Hardy, 21 year old, and um, we're at the Bill Pickett Rodeo. I'm up in the bull riding and the relay racing today. I love the adrenaline rush, the intensity of the sport, and knowing that no one else is really doing what I'm doing is amazing. Tying your hand into a 1800 pound animal and knowing that your life is in his hands unless you try. That's what I like about it the most. The relay racing, it's just fun. You get together with a couple of your friends and you guys are just running like as if we're kids in a field again, you know? This is all I've ever wanted to do, is be a rodeo cowboy, or be a legend in the game, you know? I don't care if I'm not rich or I don't make another dollar, but if 100 more people can know my name, I'd be worth it. Horses, they taught me patience. They taught me how to care about something more than I care about myself. I train horses for trail, rodeo. Uh, I'd start them and finish them and you could take them in any direction you want to. Africans get overlooked when it comes to horsemanship. And especially in America, historically the word cowboy was a derogatory term. Then you get Hollywood involved and then it's parlayed into John Wayne. It became something that was admirable. It was a shift in the culture, a shift in, you know, in the paradigm of what a cowboy should be. I think it's about one in three, one in four settlers of Los Angeles and California in general were, you know, African-American cowboys. Just to be able to carry that tradition is just so much honor to me. I would choose this lifestyle over anything. I love the country lifestyle versus the city life. I got involved into horses because my father and my uncle, he owned a couple of ranches. So I pretty much was born around everything. I love it because I get to show my talent and my skills when I'm in arena on my horse. It's very exciting, especially when you hear the people out there cheering you on, hearing them scream and calling your name. So that makes me try harder. But the community, I think, is pretty amazing. You know, you get to meet new people every time you come here. You know, I'm around girls that also do barrel racing, so I consider them as my family as well. My name is Delvin Clark, I'm from Arkansas. I actually started coming out here as a kid. My uncle, he raised horses and he trained horses. And my kids, you know, we're from Arkansas, so you know, when they think of California, they think of Hollywood and, and I wanted to get them out and show them, you know, you know, it's country people everywhere. You know, these horses don't go by airplane. 30 hours in a truck, three kids, a dog, and two horses. You'll find out how much you love it, you know what I mean? When they're 15, they're 16, they'll realize, like, Dad took us to California. A lot of people think it's about the money and the fame, but for most of the cowboys here, it's just the love of it. But that kid that has never seen a horse, if you can be the guy that lets him see his first horse, it's priceless, man. It's strictly about the love of this.
Keep running. 